In this tutorial, I'll be looking at an overview of the main operations and terminology used in PowerDirector 10. PowerDirector 10's welcome interface displays three working areas, the project library, the preview screen, and the project timeline. To start, click and drag an image to track number one. Now let's place a video next to the image. To add additional media files to your project, click on the Import Media icon. You can import specific media files or an entire media folder. Now browse for the desired media file and click Open. Your new media has been added to the project's library and is ready to be placed in the timeline. To add more video or audio tracks, click on the Add Tracks icon. In the Track Manager window, you can choose how many tracks to add and where to place them. PowerDirector 10 lets you add up to 100 video and audio tracks. To edit a video clip, you can open the Trim Room and set your desired Mark In and Mark Out points. Then click OK to exit the Trim Room. You can fix and enhance your projects with different tools like lighting adjustment, red eye removal, refocus, color enhancement, in power tools you can reverse, crop, Change the speed, rotate your video, or convert it from 2D to 3D. To add a transition to your project, open the transition room on the left. Select your type of transition and drag and drop it onto the timeline between the correct video clips or images. To add text or a title, open the title room. Choose a template and drag it down to the text track. Then click on modify to open title designer. Select the text in the outlying box, delete the default text and replace it with your own. Adding a style, and clicking save. To the left of the timeline, a range of magic tools like Magic Music, Magic Style, Magic Cut, and Fix help you create an animated movie or slideshow in just a few clicks. To save your project timeline and associated files for future editing, click on the Save Project As tab. Choose the folder you want to save your project to. and click Save. When you want to reopen this project, go to the specific folder, locate the PDS file and double click it. PowerDirector 10 will reopen and load your project with all its associated media files just as you left them in your previous editing session. To produce a video file, click on the Produce tab. Choose a profile type and video quality then designate where to save the file to. Name the file and click Start. Your project will begin rendering. To burn your project directly on a DVD or Blu-ray disc, click on the Create Disc tab. You can choose the available default menus or create a custom menu for your project. You can also select the format of 2D or 3D disc to burn your project on. Once your choices are made, you can click the Preview button or the Burn in 2D or 3D buttons to start burning your project. For more detailed PowerDirector 10 instructions, you can browse the Help files by clicking the question mark icon. You can also visit and join the Cyberlink Community Forum, which offers a large archive of commonly asked questions you can access with the Search feature. And last but not least, visit all the other available tutorials about PowerDirector 
on www.directorzone.com in the tutorial section.